finished 7th last year, I think they picked up, don't quote me in this, 1.7, 1.7 something along the lines for finishing 7th. Our budget at that point, I think last year ended on 1.35, I think the budget, uh, the money you get for finishing 12 is around 1.3. So the budget every year is for finishing 12. It's not like I get that difference to make it up the following year. Has been times when we've went over that slightly, but um, generally the budget's based in around the finishing 12, whatever that figure is. That you get the forecasted fees, but you also get the makeup of what 12 got last year. So that gives us a rough figure, but it's in and around 1.3 to 1.4. Huge, I think the next batch of fixtures, Bob, just fell a wee bit short, we've only got ourselves to blame there. Fell a wee bit short of the top six, but when you're looking at the bottom six, it'd be hard to say there's nothing to play for when you look at the teams that are in and around us. I think the next three games is obviously Ross County away, Kilmarnock away. <laughs> Extremely difficult fixtures, both of them fighting to stay in the Premier League. Then we're at home to Mother um, Dungeon United. We're at home to Dungeon United again fighting for their life to stay in the Premier League, so I've got to make sure for the integrity of the league, not just Livingston Football Club, that I'm not tinkering with my squad thinking about next year because I think there's a lot at stake for teams within the bottom six and I'll be making sure that I'm trying to play my strongest team possible because I do, I genuinely do think it's for sport and integrity, it's, um, I've got to make sure I'm putting out my strongest team on the park. I've got one eye in next year, potentially, but is that going to have a decision making in my pro the now? Probably not, just for, I touched on the various reasons there, I think, um, for the better of the Scottish football, the better of the teams in and around the bottom six, I think it's important that we put, put out the best team on the park. And again, like I know we're safe, we're probably safe, but <laughs> we're five points in front, you um, <laughs> get dragged into it, I don't think we will, don't think we will, but you're always thinking that as a manager, you're always thinking about the what ifs and probably the worst case scenario. I can only speak about last year. I um, spoke to someone, I'm not be saying any names, and whatever the production cost is to put on a game of football. I get it, I, I read social media myself and fans, this is a disgrace and sky and whatever, whatever, whatever. But do you know what? For a, a business perspective, I kind of get it. You're looking at shareholders potentially based in London making decisions saying are we gonna are we gonna lose hundred and fifty thousand pounds by showing Livingston Dungeon United Livingston Motherwell because potentially that's where it comes down to. And I think it would be bad business decisions from the shareholders, these people that make these decisions if they were choose to do that. So it's ultimately where we are in terms of this the sky deal. So I've personally not got a problem with that. I do understand the business, the economics behind it, albeit I, I can see it for the fans' point of view as well. But I think if there's anything that's ever evolving, I think um, money trumps everything in modern day football. So I think it's obvious what the decision is going to be there. Yeah, but what I would say is if you look at from third place down, there's not a lot between us, maybe. Um, 47th at this point in time, Motherwell have had a good bit of form, um, Stevie's just took the St Johnson job, so again they could go on a good run of form, so I don't think there's been a lot in the league, and you look throughout Scottish football, I think every league's been highly competitive, and it's, it's brilliant, you look at um, Friday night football, what a game of football we've got there, eh? like, as a Scottish football fan, I've based all my training around, we're travelling to Ross County, and then um, Friday night, so we're in a wee bit later, so we're making sure we're sitting on the bus watching the, is it at Queen's Park or Dundee? It's at Ah, sorry, sorry, so a, a home game, yeah. theoretically, for Queen's Park, so we're making sure we're watching that, and I just think all over the league, you could look around uh, Abroth Hamilton, mm -hmm. the league, yeah. I think it's a really competitive league, and you look at us going into the Ross County game, huge game, us going into the Commander game, huge game, you'll have Hearts Aberdeen, huge game so I think it's testament to everybody uh, that we're still involved and there's a lot of interest in the upcoming fixtures probably the only one that's Celtic probably is the only one we could probably hang our hat on at this point in time and say that Ange and Celtic have managed to get the 
the title over the line, albeit mathematically I haven't, but everyone else has, and Rangers finishing second, I don't think that's going to get misplaced, I don't think they're going to drop down to first, I don't even know if mathematically they can be caught, so first and second, but out with it that, all the way down, I think we've got a really, really competitive league. Done it last year, we'll do it again, and the way I like to coach is one game at a time, so there's no going to be an overhang. If we go up to Ross County and we don't pick points up, it will not be because of our mindset and not getting into the top six. So that doesn't play a part in that at all, in my psyche anyway, and I'll be making sure it doesn't play a part in the players. He's been training, so he's still probably a wee bit off it. Um, we've got one reserve game left where I'd like to try and get Tom 90 minutes before he's considered for first team action. But he's been in doing a bit and the boys are off. He's been training with the first team. He's been putting the, doing all the cardio work, doing all the gym work. So he's not in a, he's not in a bad place, to be honest, but there's still a good bit of match sharpness. Um, still needed there. And it's as I spoke about earlier with Brian, it's very difficult for me just to mix the team, team up to Livingston's benefit, but to the detriment of the other teams in the league in terms of our playing teams that are fighting relegation. So... Again, parts of his game time is probably going to be limited because of who we find ourselves playing in the next two or three fixtures and where we find ourselves in the league.